Immigration is part of Irish history and tradition. Work and wages from abroad needed to sustain these communities. High stakes and sometimes even higher risks underground. In Scotland in 1955, this dangerous work gave one group of tunnellers a chance to set a world record. Among them, Colm Gallagher, then and now. It was dangerous work, but there was no safety goal. You, you, you could wear a helmet or you could go without the helmet. Now you can't. Other emigrants who also worked in tunnels across the UK are still in awe of the world record. They drilled through solid rock for 567 feet in seven days and never ever in the history of mankind will it ever be done again. It was a superhuman effort. They were to me supermen. The landscape of Donegal, not unlike that of Scotland, rugged, barn, and in parts difficult to make a living from. But in the middle of the last century, change came to Scotland. The advent of hydroelectric systems that changed the life of Scotland and it changed the lives and livelihoods of families and communities here in Ireland. The people that worked in the hydro jobs in Scotland, especially the people from Donegal, they sent the money home and wires. They really laid the financial foundation in this county, this country even. But the benefits to some communities came at a cost to others. Danger and death sometimes never far apart. In a poignant case, two friends, one lived, one died. He, he was driving the loco out from the, from the tunnel and said that, uh, and he asked me for a cigarette and I gave him a cigarette. He came out, the next load came out, he, he was on the top, dead. Many tunnel workers are now living out retirement in their homeland, but their contribution to the development of Scotland will be showcased at a new visitor centre being opened by Scottish and Southern Energy, and the Parliament in Holyrood has also decided to acknowledge their work. Back in Ireland, these communities still face challenges, but they find inspiration too from the sacrifices of emigrant workers along the road less travelled in search of a better future. Kevin Sharkey, BBC Newsline, 